Hello everyone, Spudgeary3 here. Starting off with my first game on Horror of the Month or whatever for Halloween, my little kid thing. Getting it off of Splatterhouse. And, you know, it's from TurboGrafx-16. It's the first in the series. Let's go! On a dark and story night, because, hey, what better time? Uh, Rick and his girlfriend go to meet their professor or somebody to go research. And their mon this monster goes, kidnaps his girlfriend, beats up Rick. This mask of terror, instead of possessing him, gives him superpowers, and that he becomes this like strong Neo Jason with a red mask. And now he's gonna go save his girlfriend. And uh, hello! He's got the two by four to help him with. But yeah, this is a simplistic game, pretty much. You got like your your A button jumps, your B button hits you with the two by four. I'm playing it on classic controller. Um. It's a pretty much easy game. It's a simplistic style, but it, the, what makes it unique, though, is pretty much the fact that it's just bloody and gory as shit, and violent, and it's all hell. And it's got that fun little horror thing to it. Like, I saw this on uh, G4, I believe, yeah, on, when Cheat was on, and then they were talking about the virtual console games on there, and this, like, it was just your usual Super Mario Brothers. Donkey Kong Country, skip those fuckers, get him out, he kicked my ass, um, my mic, and, uh, it was a, you know, your typical Donkey Kong Country, but this was on Turbo Graphics, and I was just like, holy shit, this looks awesome, and, uh, Turbo Graphics was around the time, Sega Genesis and stuff, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo was going on, Turbo Graphics hanging out in the back, you know this, and this is the first boss, just a room full of alien babies. A bunch of tentacles. Not too hard, really. What the all there is, and you think it's done? Oh no! Punch him. This guy's pretty much a badass. You know he's a badass, because he's like punching them all in the face. Uh, that's pretty much hard for me in the beginning. Like, I didn't know how to fight this. This is going to be a let's try. This is not a let's play. I gotta go as far as I could. Just gotta be careful of all the speed of all these things. It's a very, very easy game. I don't know what else to say. There's other two games. I believe it just got rebooted. Yeah, it got rebooted two years ago. I, I never played it. Um, I might play it, actually. So, um... Yeah, this is pretty much easy. Just going ahead, beating up these dead babies down here. Just chopping up these dead babies with a 2x4, because, hey, that's easy. You get the wooden sword. You duck down. All you gotta do is duck down to get these items. You even look up sometimes. All right. And then, you know, that monster that came from the sea. The swamp monsters come out. And easy. Boom. And, you know, Koopa Monster Metal Remix HD come out. Metal Remix HD. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Alright. Yeah, suck it. What? And the scroll's weird. Like, you think the scroll's gonna kill you? And Oh, shit. Fuck you. Yeah, the scroll will just stop for you. Just, oh yeah, it's cool. Just wait. We'll just wait for you to move. So yeah. You think the scroll would kill you? But no. And you don't gotta jump punch. You do gotta jump kick, but, uh, stuff. The 2x4 is like... It's just a jump thing. But yeah. So pretty much easy so far. I haven't been, I've been having problems with this stuff, you know, go through like practice run throughs. And uh, this is the second room, just a room that earthquakes the fuck out, just the crazy paranormal. Just whiskey bottles and candles fall from the sky. Then at this chair. Oh yeah, I don't got the chair this time. The chair's got self. This is how crazy it is. Uh, and yeah, just keep pressing the B, the B button. Just very easy. And then knives come at you, and you're so much of a badass that you're not even afraid to punch knives. You know, that would probably hurt like a bitch. Then two knives come in. You should expect that. Yeah, so you just do that. Get him in the corner. Get him in the corner! Remember when you were a little kid, you cornered the you corner of the fighting games? Because you're like, go in corner, and then yeah. Fucking picture! Aha! Get out of here, ghost! Stupid poltergeist. And... Boom. Yeah. And just be... Just, yeah. Just don't stand under that. And, you know. Easy. 
Stage three. The uh, night of the uh, werewolf with a shotgun. Four lives. Yeah. All right. Now you know. Rick's packing. Stupid. Stupid things. Can my my girlfriend will ya? I'm pretty sure my girlfriend's good as dead if you know these monsters kidnapped him. Yeah, you know, my girlfriend's definitely fine at these things, but yeah, be careful with these little holes down here. They drag you down to hell. And you can come back, but Fucking asshole! Aw oh, damn it! My shotgun! I was saving that because there's a boss coming up later. And, uh, he's a maniac, and, you know, there's another shotgun coming up. Yeah, here he comes. And, yep, he's the... He's the 16-bit version from Resident Evil 5. And I just have one life, so I'm just gonna go ahead and die there. Because easy. But, yeah, that guy's hard as hell. I don't know how he can look. Uh, you get five continues from this game. And, uh, once you get those five continues, yeah, you guessed the game over. Fuck it, I'm just gonna carry this rock to the boss. Rock on, asshole. Can't carry that rock there. Yeah, this is a little trick I learned. Just do that, do that, do that. Fuck you! <laughs> That's how to fight bosses. Aha! Okay, now you just go get him in the corner. Do your Street Fighter combo on him, and he's dead. Ah, uh, who's that guy? You guys wear masks? I don't know who wears a Jason mask in a video game. Fighting video game. I'd make a reference. Well, we're making third stages easy. I never thought I'd actually be going through so far. Seven minutes, shit. I think this is the part where I go my downfall, because this is as far as I've gotten. I don't know if it's just me being in the zone today or I'm having a good day. I just wanted to sit around like a demand with a whatever the fuck. Ah, get away from me, you weird monsters. Anyways, uh, scary! Uh, I'm so scared. Um, yeah. So what's coming up more in the Splash Area 3 is, uh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'll just drop you down in this room and, you know, that thing's a nom nom dead body. It's fun! Um... Yeah, just wait for the scroll to get through. And then fucking stupid tentacles. Sometimes we'll just escape. We'll just escape back into that weird stuff. Just careful of the ones that... Yeah, see, they'll just go back. Just like, I want to get you, but you're too far. I'm, I'm just gonna go back in there. You see, that dude just turned right around! He wasn't even going for me. He's like, fuck that. And that dude just—they just love going into it. They don't—they're not even a threat to you. That's crazy. Oh, and I already got thirty thousand, which is an extra life. I'm not really having anything to say in this. I could—I could do my wrestling commentary to uh, make it sound a little better. Rick's going, letting the skull run out. He's going, Ray, going to save his girlfriend. He's chopping blades on the ground. He's jumping through the room, and oh, there comes the baddie! That clothesline with his wing. That bad failed as much. Oh, and that thing just clipped him right in the frickin' ankles. And he makes it to the left thing. Intense of hiding! Okay. And now this room, which has doppelgangers. And doppelgangers are bosses and other ones. Uh, not really so much this one. Maybe this will actually be a let's play if I can actually get through stuff. It's still a let's try. I never said I would beat anything let I couldn't beat anything let's try, so. Who knows? Hey, yeah, look at my sexy ass. I mean my ass, I'm not my face. My face looks butt ugly. He also, you know, loses his hair, because he's an old 60-year-old man, apparently. So yeah, fuck those dudes. Um This glare. Somebody needs to wipe these windows. They look all dirty. Actually, no, they, they actually look very nice. I don't know who's... The window wiper does a very good job. I know he did to get all wet back. Okay, no. I don't know who he got to clean these wet windows. Probably not that. That's a joke. These, these windows are very good. So good, you can see a reflection coming right out quite literally. Like this. My own reflection will beat my ass. 
It's that good. How you? How's it doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? How are you? Okay. Uh, this is the boss. You're going to the chapel of the Black Church. Um, I don't know. The Church of the Black Clock, I guess. No, that church's not evil. Yeah, so you just beat up this thing. I think I beat him before, but now you get a cleaver. The chopper from, uh, Fall of New Vegas to get you a bonus limb damage on. Selling for 4,000 caps. But of course, Fallout doesn't exist yet. I don't think it did exist yet, so yeah. Not even number one. I love Fallout New Vegas. But we're not even playing that game, we're playing Splatterhouse. And all we've been seeing is splattery shit. Oh, come on, me. I'm doing very good, actually. Oh, come on. I want to beat this motherfucker so I don't have to go start again. Guaranteed, if I beat this guy, I'll keep going. For you sexy people. Oh, God. Oh, no, damn it, fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh, Too bad. That ugly motherfucker got me. All right. Well, that's pretty good. We just progressed four stages. So, um, next time on Splicer 83's Horror Spectacular Game a Thon Thingamajigger for October, we'll continue through this and see if we can, uh, you know, get through it. So, uh, I'm Splicer 83, and I'll see you folks later. Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh. 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 I gotta go get some more. See ya.